Make sure you subscribe and follow Simels and don't forget to like and comment. All right, yo, so look, first things first, bro, turn this off. That's the first thing you want to do, turn this off. Because if you have this on, you're fucked. You, you can't move. You, you you really can't move around and use the uh, shortcuts with that on. So what you're going to do is, after that, you want to have your keyboard set up kind of slanted. Like you like you playing a game or something. That's how I got my shit. I got my shit slanted a certain way so I can hit every letter I need to hit, every everything I need to hit. Yeah, after that, control is your best friend. You're gonna use control for a lot of things. And P, like, cause you'll be making a beat and then something will go like right here or like right here. And then you, you gotta hit P to go back instead of like clicking like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, if you use the key binds and shit, bro, it's gonna, it's only gonna make it easier. You are gonna get the beat done in like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Not only that, all of these, you can look, pay attention to the panel, first of all. That's how I learned it. Everything is literally in the panel. Everything. So if, if it's something that I'm that you that I missed in this video, you could literally just hover over whatever you need to hover over, look around, and just look in the panel, bro. So yeah. So um let me let me grab just a random core real quick. <laughs> nah, I just grab that. So look. First thing is I guess alright, hold shift. We can hold shift, click it, and drag it. That's the first thing. Control X, delete it. Control Z, put it back. Control X. Control Alt Z, put everything back. But like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Control D is to um unhighlight it. Control A, highlight it. Control, or you could do like, let go back. Control L, I just did that. Control D, and then you could do like Control B. You know what I'm saying? Copy it over. Highlight it. Go ahead, control and like click and shit. But it's like, and then you could do this. You could drag it and then, y'all know how like the nun shit is, right? You could do like, like that. It's the same shit, but you gotta do shift alt. You know what I'm saying? Like hold, hold shift alt and you could literally put it anywhere. Oh, and, and make it right, alt Q, make it straight. But with Alt Q, bro, your settings gotta be right. Like, my shit, start time all the way up, duration all the way up, and then quantize time end time. That's what I got mine on. So, um, after that, then you got, um, let me show you something else too. I got some more shit. Like, now, I, I don't even know which ones it is, but I use JK. So J is to put it like it's gonna switch your channels fast, and then you do K, put it. You know what I'm saying? Like okay, and then Shift D. You know what I'm saying? So then you got um, what else you got? What else you got? Hmm. Oh yeah, S. Use the slide. You hit S to like. You know what I'm saying? It'll automatically hit it. Had a note on slide. T, no, 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 let me go right here. T will turn the notes that you want to turn off. You know what I'm saying? So you can hear what you need to hear. Um, Yeah, D, but you can right click, it don't even matter. Mm. Um, shit, what else, what else? Shit. Hmm. Oh yeah. You hold Control Shift and you can highlight one each individually. Oh yeah, F. Yeah, you see this down here. F switches these. Now I leave. I don't, I usually test the pan or the velocity, so to switch these pretty quick. And then you just do Control A. Hold Alt, use the scroll up and down for velocity. So, Control C, Control V, but you got click, you know what I'm saying? And then you could do um, cut to delete it. But then um, 
you can do alt delete to delete it quick. You know what I'm saying? So you ain't gotta go right there. Like, I mean, if we being honest, this little shit, but it matters though. You say you saving as much time as possible. You don't want to be, cause oh yeah, F11 show you how much minutes you got on it. You look at the bottom total time spent. F11. But yeah, bro, you want to save as much time as possible, bro. You don't want to be clicking too much and bullshitting when you could just get it done, bro. Like in like 15 minutes. Like, come on. I mean, I should know how to do that. I did. Sh I did shift. And just yeah. I did shift alt. And yeah. Shit. That's shift D. That did that. So shorten it. Shift D to make a long. Control L. Mm. Shit. I don't really think it's much else really. I mean, I, I'm I'm clicking scrolls to move it like like that. I guess I don't use that shit. But yeah, if, I'm telling you, bro. If you master this, bro, master your key bump, bro. You literally will be like me, bro, making fucking 35 beats in a week, bro. Like I make beats like this every day, bro. I use replace. Yeah. Oh yeah. I got my shit on simple. Cause I know somebody asked me one time. I got my shit on simple, so I know like exactly where everything is at, what I'm looking for, for my VSTs and shit. And then let's say you wanna, let's say you wanna send a MIDI or save a MIDI. Control Shift M. Let's say you wanna put in your download, you just name it, hit save, and you got the MIDI. That's the like. And then Controls Shift S. If you already saved the FLP, you do that. You rename the FLP and replace it, and then you just got it. Control Shift R. That's how you render it out, and then F five. You go to the pattern and shit like, yeah. C cutting and shit. You know what I'm saying like. But yeah, bro. Like, learn these shortcuts, man. I'm telling you, it's gonna save you, bro. I'll catch y'all.